one carrot. Lots of water. 11 home face masks. Please show me a research for lifting skin. Of course, I really like this, this one. Hello and welcome. My name is Mia Sabo, a licensed skincare professional. I watch YouTube quite a bit and today I have found a video, 11 home face masks you can make in a minute. I started watching it, it immediately infuriated me, so let's watch it together. After reading what some facial masks are made of, many people are scared of using them on their own skin. But there is always a way out. You can make really effective and safe masks yourself. More than that, regular care and using natural skincare products will help you look healthier and avoid possible toxic elements such as sulfates and preserving agents that are used in many masks. If you're interested in getting to know the simple... This is what infuriated me so much. You see, the thing is that I'm a skincare professional and my profession is not to create skincare, but to treat people's skin. And as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't matter what exactly makes people's skin better, as long as it does. And here, in this video, people suggest that what is inside facial masks that are available commercially is in some way bad for you and that using an egg and a butter and a banana is good for you. The, the thing is that the, the so-called natural skincare, the thing is that yes, if you look at the edge of any, any beauty product, you will see quite many ingredients that a just regular person cannot read because these are the names of different chemical ingredients, much is in Latin, it's hard, it's not un easy to understand. And yes, of course, there are some skincare ingredients that are not good for you. Some preservatives can be irritating, some sulfates as well, it doesn't have to be that though. The, the point is, there is much, much great skincare on the market. Lots, lots of different products that are good and that are able to make a difference. What usually isn't able to make a difference, though, is the types that they will show in this video, I suppose. Let's keep on watching. Maybe, maybe they will show something that is actually great. Those facial masks that your skin will thank you for, then just keep on watching. But first and foremost, don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be one of the first bright siders to watch our videos. And the, uh, the very first one, they start with reducing inflammation, fighting acne, that is a problem for so, so many people, causing insecurity and different problems. Really, it's a serious topic. Let's see how seriously will they look at it. 1. Reducing Inflammation Ingredients 1 banana 1 tablespoon of yogurt 1 teaspoon of soda Banana, yogurt and soda. I suppose that soda is there to um, kill off so to say, the acidity of banana and yogurt together, uh, although they never can know what kind of, what is the acidity of your yogurt and of your banana. Is your banana ripe? Is it not ripe? What type it is? What yogurt do you use? Do you use plain Greek yogurt? What, what exactly is it that you are using? Also, depending on country, it can be different. The point is, if banana would be a good anti-inflammatory product, believe me, it would have been used in skincare quite a lot. Reducing inflammation for acne is something that we are really busy with here in the skincare industry. And if that would be the solution, wow, it would be used everywhere. It is used in some products, but it's not as effective as many, many DIYers show it to be. As far as yogurt is concerned, if you are using Greek yogurt, it can have microbiota that could not be beneficial for your skin. Again, the acidity of all of that is killed off by soda. Um, it's not going to do much, honestly. Uh, it's probably not going to be harmful, but as far as your acne, it was not going to do it better. Please try to look for something with sulfur, with zinc. That will make a lot more of a difference for you.
How to use it. Grind the banana, then add soda and yogurt. Put it on the face for 10 to 15 minutes before washing it off. This mask is helpful because bananas are good for reducing inflammation and acne. There is even information that says bananas can be used to treat wounds and burns. Where is that information? Like, please show me a research that showed that banana, yogurt, and soda will help acne and that banana helps burns and irritation. Maybe it can soothe it to some extent, but again, they have killed off the acidicity with it with soda. I don't know, honestly, it doesn't seem like a really worthy time spent on your side or on mine. Two, getting rid of large pores. In a very important. For some people, large pore size is just how their skin is. Many times, large pore, as long as it's free of sebum, as long as it's not clogged, not blackhead, whitehead, acne, is just a healthy, clean pore, but it's a bigger in size, it can be normal. And it is something that we should be talking more about so that people can be less embarrassed of their skin, when especially when it's healthy anyway. So we can see here two tablespoons of yogurt again, one tablespoon of cosmetic clay that is going to just mix up the consistency, it's not going to do anything extra, and one and a half teaspoons or tablespoons, no, teaspoons of honey if you're not allergic to it. Uh, again, honey would moisturize just a little bit and it does have some antibacterial properties, but it's not going to help with pores and their size, especially not if this is how your skin anyway is. And if your skin, skin is clogged because of your sebum being too thick, then again, it's not gonna help. So again, another pass. This mask is not going to do it. Let's get on. Three, for dry skin. For dry skin, and they literally show on this picture pretty dry skin to the point where this is already an issue. This is not just some skin where I feel the tightness. You can see irritation, you can see the flaking. Definitely, this kind of skin has an irritated barrier, and this skin really needs help proper help. So let's see how they're, they're supposed to help it. Ingredients. One half ripe avocado, one tablespoon of milk, one tablespoon of honey. How to half ripe avocado, one tablespoon of milk, and one tablespoon of honey. R avocado is actually not a bad option because avocado does actually include, let's say, vitamin E. That actually is beneficial for dry skin. On the other hand, a product that contains stocophyll acetate, but also to create, have squalan and ceramides would be so much of a fuller, better solution for such skin than just an avocado. Avocado by itself could actually irritate it. Uh, then we have milk that we don't know what kind of fat content do we want to use you know, pasteurized, ultra-pasteurized, not pasteurized. And then there is also, again, honey. Enough said about honey. Honey is like put everywhere because everybody has it in their home and it is supposed to have the, tree, the properties. It just doesn't possess. Again, people, if honey would be so good, believe me, it would have been used everywhere in skincare world. And it's not really that widely used. Propolis, yes. Honey, not really. Four. For removing dark circles under the eyes and swelling. Important. They say remove. They do not say here that they are going to make them appear better, like enhance the appearance, not anything like that. Also, they say to reduce swelling. For some people, the swelling under their eyes can actually be a result of either the lymphatic system pain of or for instance problems with kidneys also the circles around the eyes very typically is a result of actual skin 
being thin. And then you can see the blue circles around the eyes, which are your blood vessels. And there is not really much you can do with that, and that is okay and healthy. Again, we need to be talking more about this, that for some skin tones, blue under eye circles are a norm. About the dark circles that go all around the eye, again, this can be inherited. And again, it can be a norm. Yes, there are solutions that could help you. For instance, some uh, types of vitamin C could help you to improve the look. But let's see, are they using any kind of really brightening ingredient here? Ingredients. One teaspoon of coffee grounds. They know, what? They used coffee grounds and black pepper? When was the last time you have put black pepper around your eyes? I ask you. And then when was the... Oh. Can you imagine how that would burn? No, 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 people. Please forget. Coffee grounds. Um, you, you see, caffeine is so overhyped when it comes to dark circles. It can usually only temporarily, really temporarily, just for maybe an hour or so, make them appear better because they do contract the blood vessels. And then if you have the blue under eye circle problem here, then you would have just a little bit less of an appearance. But that's not really actually helping the issue, so not removing. And then black pepper. Black pepper, on the contrary, would bring the blood in because it's irritated. So, this is going to swell your eyes up better, not help the swelling around the eyes. Definitely not safe to try at home. Please don't do this. Five, for lifting skin. For lifting skin, of course, we need to be lifting skin. It's very, very hard to lift skin. Usually includes peptides and typically liposomatic solutions that are only available in high quality skincare. Let us see what do we have here instead. Ingredients. A ripe tomato. <laughs> Ingredients. They literally say a ripe tomato. That's it. The thing is that tomato is an antioxidant and it is even used in skincare, but it is not the best um, ingredient out there. To be honest, it doesn't show none of very, very good results, especially not with tightening, just forget about that. But even as an antioxidant in skincare, it just doesn't perform the best. Yes, there are some skincare companies that do use this. I personally don't because I don't find good results can be reached with this. And especially not if it's just a tomato. You see, in skincare, what you're talking about is an extract. So something stronger. And just a tomato? No, no way, no way. That's just not going to help anything. Six. For looking healthier. See, I really like this, this one. Looking healthier. Nobody promises you anymore you are going to be healthier thanks to this mask. But looking, you may. Let's see. For looking healthier. Ingredients. One big cucumber. How to use it. <laughs> I would make a joke on how can one big cucumber make you look healthier, but I'm not going to. You see, the problem with cucumbers is that, uh, again, another ingredient that is so overhyped. There were actually even actual research on whether or not cucumber helps skin. And because it does contain a couple of vitamins, but mostly mostly like more than 90 i don't i, I don't want to lie but definitely way more than 90 percent of a cucumber is water so what you are putting on your skin is water soluble vitamins that are not able to really penetrate the skin or do much to the skin at all and even the quantity of the vitamins there is very 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 small so putting a cucumber on your face is the same as putting a sheet mask with water like literally, submerge your sheet mask into water, put it on your face, same result. Let's move on. Seven. For increasing skin recovery, uh, 
I don't know what should that mean. Probably they are supposed it's supposed to mean that your skin will recover faster. Let's see how they're going to do Ingredients. that. Ingredients: Carrots, water. How to use it? Peel the carrots and grind them in a blender, adding a lot of water. Put the mask on the face for 15 to 20 minutes. The beta carotene that carrots contain helps heal little wounds on the face and makes the skin look healthy. They just said to add lots of water. How much is lots of water? Do I chuck a liter in? As much as my blender can take? What is lots of water? Honestly. And then you use one carrot. Lots of water. <laughs> just basically, their idea is water it down. <laughs> No, beta carotene can be, of course, useful, but not in the quantity of whatever here is supposed to be. Not like this, then it would need to be used already better with oils so that beta carotene has any chance to actually penetrate the skin. And if it's we actually sold with water, it's not going to help that much. So if this mask at least, at least would be mixed with oil, that would be an actual better choice. But no, this actually shows even better that people who create these recipes, they do not know what they're talking about. They just read something on the internet and then put it together in a video. They're not professionals, definitely, but they also don't even try. And that is my biggest issue. Let us try to make something that actually brings results. Let's go on. Let's, let's, let's see the, fur the further one, next one. So, this one is supposed to be for moisturizing and peeling at the same time. Ingredients. One half cup of oatmeal. One third glass of water. Five drops of vitamin E. How to use it. Five drops of vitamin E. What kind of vitamin E, I ask you? Is it tocopherol? Is it tocopherol acetate? Like, okay, let's just say we put tocopherol. So just vitamin E. Five drops, only five drops. It's not really too much <laughs> to ask. <laughs> I think that you could probably put even a bit more. Um, oatmeal, water, like you're supposed to rub your face with this, I suppose. Let's see. Boil the oatmeal in water and let it cool down. Add vitamin E. After that, apply the mask to the face for 15 to 20 minutes and wash it off with water. Thanks to the soft structure of oatmeal, this mask is... Um, have you ever cooked oatmeal? Then you would know that this mask in 15 to 20 minutes will start falling off your face in little tiny crumbles and will make your entire flat a mess. It will be like you will have to clean the floor, everything, everywhere. It will be literally shedding. Um, this is one problem that I have with this. Another thing is that if you want a peel, why not use a peel? A typical enzymatic peel that you can buy would take you one minute to do and is suitable for sensitive skin. Please do not try to find more in a product than it should be. A peel should peel. A uh, moisturizer should moisturize and serum should give an added benefit. Let's not mix all of this together. 9. For removing oily shine. Ingredients. One half of a potato. One teaspoon of lemon juice. Half of a potato and one teaspoon of lemon juice for removing shine is our next one. Well, uh... The thing is, yes, if you put this on your face, it will remove the shine because you basically washed your face. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's not going to be doing more than that, especially it is not going to do it uh, for a long time. I honestly suggest that you look rather for mattifying skincare products. There are many, many on the market right now, and they can provide you with mattifying effect for an entire day, and you don't have to grind a potato. Added benefit. 10. For looking like you've had good rest. I really like it. For looking like you've had a good rest. It's amazing. Please have a good rest. I ask you, please have a good rest. Unless you can't, then aloe juice and four tablespoons of pink clay? Uh, look. 
I can have a substitution for you for that. Uh, pink clay is not really going to do very much for your skin. Aloe vera gel is going to moisturize it a little bit. Instead, wash your face really, really well. Then take the same aloe, but not aloe juice. Take aloe vera gel. Put it on your face and give yourself a nice self-massage. Just about like two or three minutes. Wash it off, continue with your normal skincare, and you will look like you've had a good rest. Way better than from this mask. It's also faster and cheaper. You don't have to buy the pink clay. Next up, let's, let's continue forward. 11. For removing blackheads. And we are removing blackheads as our last mask for today. Let's see how we are going to remove blackheads. Again, the best way to remove blackheads is to extract them professionally and then continue with using sebum solving, so oil solving ingredient like the BHA, so the salicylic acid on daily basis, say in a serum, not in a face wash, in a serum. This way you can ensure that the oil that your skin naturally produces too thick is actually flowing out to the surface of your skin and the pore stays clean. This is the way you can actually really, really help your blackheads. But let's see what they suggest instead. Ingredients. One tablespoon of lemon. One tablespoon of honey. Oh, we have seen it so many times, guys. One tablespoon of lemon, one tablespoon of honey. Lemon is supposed to solve sebum exactly like what we are supposed to be doing with honey. Um, exactly what we are supposed to be doing, sorry, with salicylic acid. So, if lemon is solving sebum, why we are not using lemon? <laughs> salicylic acid is so much better for solving sebum than anything else that we can literally think of. Instead of trying to do the lemon and honey mixture, honey is actually not cheap. So if you're going to be using it all the time, it's going to cost you quite a bit. So I suggest rather to find a good serum that contains salicylic acid and maybe even Seboclear, for instance, but it can contain other ingredients as well. Salicylic acid would be the key here. Salicylic acid would really, really help your issue and you would forever forget about mixing your lemon juice and honey, except for when it comes putting it into the tea. Tea is much better with lemon and a little bit of honey. Okay, so these were all of the masks that we have seen. Look, most of these masks are not dangerous to your skin. Most of them. Some of them could be. If you misuse them, definitely. If you put too much of the lemon juice, leave it on for too long, it can literally irritate your skin. But they are not going to bring you any benefit. So instead, trust yourself in to good skincare, choose only good skincare products, and do not spend your time and money on this BS. I will see you next time. Bye!